OK, here we are in PaintShop Pro, and this is the image that we're going to be converting to an SVG. And the first thing I'm going to do is um, convert it to pure black and white, which will make it easier for Inkscape to trace it more successfully. In the left-hand tool palette here, I'm going to be using the fourth tool down, which is the selection tool. And that actually has three options, so don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like this. Just click on this triangle, and it brings up the three options and we're going to be using the magic wand. What the magic wand does is it selects area that are areas that are the same color. So if I click here, you can see it's selected all of this white area here, but it hasn't gone right into the edges of the image. That's because these areas here aren't quite perfect white. And the tolerance here is set to zero, so the magic wand tool is very intolerant and it will only pick pure white. So if I um, click somewhere around here and change this tolerance 30 that might be fine so if I click here now you can see now it's selected all of the white in the background right up to the edges of my image now I need to add these white areas inside the cross into the selection so I hold down my shift key and just click the magic wand inside each of these areas So that's all of our background completely selected. If I invert the selection with Control, Shift and I, instead of having all the background selected, now we have all of the cross selected. In my um, color palette, I have white set to my foreground and black set to my background color. Um, it doesn't really matter what the foreground is, but we need black for this uh, task for the background. So if you're yours isn't black here, just click in there and it will bring up the color selection box and you can select black to change that color. And the reason I need black for the background is that if I delete something it always replaces it with the background color. So by pressing the delete key now it gets rid of my cross and replaces it with the background color so there's our black and white image. So if I do control D to deselect that, there is our image I'll do Control c to copy it and now we'll go into Inkscape. There we go, let's just see our page. So if I do Control v that pastes my bitmap into Inkscape. Um, I'll zoom in a little so we can see that better, there we go. So now if I go Path Trace Bitmap that brings up this Trace Bitmap dialog box. Um, Pause your video now and just check that you have the same settings for everything in here that I do and click on the update button and it shows us what it's going to look like once it's finished tracing so we'll say OK to accept that and then we'll close this box. And now actually we have two images here stacked one on top of the other. One is the bitmap that we brought in from PaintShop Pro and one is the tracing we've made. So if I just click and drag to one side that'll separate those. So if we look at those now, uh, this one which is selected, if I look at the bottom of my screen it says path so I know that's the path I've created by tracing. If I click on this one it says image at the bottom so I know that's the image that I've brought in from PaintShop Pro. So I can just get rid of that one by pressing the delete key. And there is our tracing. So um, I can just save my file now as an SVG and then import it into Azure Cuts a lot to cut it out. I hope that was useful for you. Thanks. Bye bye.